and Jason to be the first ever tag team champion for Family Wrestling Entertainment? To be the first undisputed FWE tag champs would mean the absolute world to us. We've started there January of 09. We've been here since the inception. And we're coming pretty much back home. It's our homecoming. And to win the titles there, man, five stars above the rest. Talk about tag team wrestling. It seems to be an art form that's not appreciated as much. Talk about it in FWE. I wouldn't say maybe a not appreciated, maybe underutilized. I feel in family wrestling entertainment, there's a flourish of tag team wrestling. We've got the most tag team competitors in FWE in probably all the promotions in the Northeast. We've got Azrael Bandito Jr. We've got the Midnight Sensations. We've got, we've had, um, well, obviously Sanjay Dutt and Davari, Adrenaline Express, and, and the Funky Fresh Boys. We've got about going on eight teams, probably the most that's ever been done, and eight established teams. So I feel like the FWE committee has done awesome by tag team wrestling and hopefully bringing it back to the forefront. And how special is it for you to now have a championship to strive for? <laughs> well, and, you know, Jason as well. Of, it, well, I've been doing it four years, so it's more like, how can I explain it? Well, I've, I think I've earned it. I'm confident in my abilities to finally get a run in with a championship and a major championship. So I, I think this is my shot. This is our shot at claiming the gold. I mean, this is, yeah, this is an incredible step. I mean, we started January of 11, uh, the same venue, St. Patrick's. And, you know, seeing where we started, you know, averaging about 200 people, people didn't think we were going to make it. And now, you know, about a year, more than a year and a half later, and we're back on iPay-Per-View. We're back with, you know, as I said, an insane roster. Uh, it's, it's, a great, it's a great feeling, personally, just to see our growth and see guys getting a chance. Like, not just, you know, for guys like Tommy Dreamer, for Angelina Love. Uh, for guys, you know, like Adrenal Express, Damien Darling, uh, Joey Ace, Jason Gotti. You know, these are guys who have been here from the beginning, and they deserve to be on iPay-Per-View. I've seen, you know, people maybe who don't deserve, you know. But, you know what, these guys, they have busted their behinds. They are hungry, and this is the future. This is the future of wrestling. You know, we're not like, you know, some other companies who are trying to live in a nostalgia act. We're not. I mean, we have Tommy Dreamer, who can still go against Rhino. At the same time, we have Diamond Inc., Adrenaline Express, Damian Darling, guys that are hungry. We're revitalizing women's wrestling and tag team wrestling, where other companies look at them as a gimmick to pull out, just to, you know, say, oh, we have a tag match on a pay-per-view. We have a women's match on our card. This is a part of who we are, and we never shy away from that. We love wrestling. We are wrestling. This is the future of wrestling, right? Sitting here today with FWE stars, the Firebird, George Sandy. What's going on today? Good. Everything's good. Now, we know that you're not officially booked, but we hear that you're thinking of taking a certain challenge. Care to tell our fans at home a little bit more about that? Yeah, the Firebird, George Sandy is not in the Saints' match at uh, Back to Brooklyn on October 5th. But there is a challenge being made. I know um, growing up, I watched this guy, and he challenged wrestler after wrestler. And I want to be that wrestler. I want to be that guy to take the Master Lock Challenge, Chris Masters. Now, what is it about Masters and the Master Lock that I know there have been others that have not been able to solve it? So give fans a little bit about your thoughts on that Master Lock and why it was such a challenge, maybe for others. Because there are... You get those people where they couldn't get out of it. And I've took amateur wrestling. I've wrestled guys bigger than him. And I got out of moves way harder than what the Master Lock is. Now, I'm not downplaying the Master Lock. The Master Lock is definitely a move that could really hurt you. Hurt your neck, your back, your spine, vertebrates in your neck also. Now, you've been 
Now, does that fire you guys up in the fact that a guy like Chris Masters, he's coming in, he's coming into Brooklyn, and he challenged at the new roster? Somebody who was there, <laughs> does that fire you up? Yeah, well, basically, I'm a nobody to him. Uh, I'm just, I'm just another guy in the indie scene. But this guy in the indie scene is something not to mess with. I know that where I stand, there is no stepping stone. And the fiber George Santi is taking that Master Life Challenge, and he's going to decode it. Yeah. So just talk about that, you know, the growth of the company again, and now it's on iPay-Per-View. Talk about the that. The growth of the company is, is amazing. Um, Jordan, all those guys in the back, Camrad, those, those guys are the real deal when it comes to putting a good show together. Back to Brooklyn, is, I, we can always say, oh, this is going to be our best card, this is going to be our best card. They keep topping one after another. There's no plateau in booking the matches. Um, for it to be eye pay-per-view, that's great. You know, a lot of people haven't seen someone like me. A lot of people haven't seen somebody like Joe Yates. A lot of people haven't seen uh, people like the Adrenaline Express. You know, and that's, that's where we could, we could establish ourselves. You know, from what I heard, they got good buys on the eye pay-per-views. And what guys like us that really, you know, we want, we're, we're, not, we're not hungry, we're starving to make it in this business. And for guys like us to be a part of iPay-Per-View and to be seen also almost around the world, it's, it's a great deal. And it's very humbling. And like I said, my match is not sanctioned, but I'll make the best of what I got. That'll help you to that level that, you know, take you to that next level, solving the Master Lock Challenge? If, that's a good opportunity. This Master Lock Challenge is a good opportunity. I'm going to go up to the plate with that. Yeah, I believe so. If I if I take that challenge and and I break out of it, I'm gonna be that guy, that nobody that broke his master lock. Now, I know this is in the future type thing, but who does George Sandy after the back to Brooklyn wanna try to challenge next? <laughs> Tommy Dreamer. See he came from the same school as me. He's a alumni, basically. And I would like to show like I wouldn't say he's the past, he's definitely the present and future of this company. But I want him to go against somebody that's present and future as well. And lastly, just the final message for the fans at home about Back to Brooklyn. October 5th, Bay Ridge, come see me get into the Master Lock and break out of it. Because you're not only witnessing a pro wrestler, you're also witnessing a pro wrestler turned locksmith.